Hello there, my name is Paula Morgan Clo, and I'm one of the professional midwifery advocates here at Northampton Maternity Unit. Just wanted to come on again and speak about the fact there haven't been any changes since I last spoke to you in October. Obviously we've now gone into a second lockdown and I just wanted to reassure everybody that nothing has changed here with regards to birth partners because of the second lockdown. So what we thought we'd do today is do a little whistle-stop tour of the maternity unit and what to expect when you come to each of the areas. Um, we thought that might be quite useful, so I'm going to just pop my mask on and we're going to start our whistle-stop tour of the maternity unit. So here we are at our maternity day unit. Most ladies that are attending here will have rung ahead or will have a booked appointment. So obviously when you arrive, we've got our hand sanitizer here and we've got a little automatic button here that will take us through. When we get to reception, the receptionist, it's Charlotte today, she will ask some questions and she will do your temperature. That's fine. Are you feeling well today? Yes. No loss of taste or smell? No. Continuous cough? No. No high temperatures? No. And not been around anybody with COVID? No. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. So that will be for yourself and also for your partner that's with you. And then you'll come along here and you'll come to our waiting area. So this is our waiting room and we've got chairs that are grouped together for you and your partner. If this waiting room is really busy, we'd ask your partner just to wait outside till you're taken through to one of the rooms and then they can, your partner can come in with you. So just to say that the appointments here for the ladies that are coming through triage, some booked appointments, and some ladies that are coming for scans, and partners can be with you here for those appointments. So we're going to head on up to the birth centre now and Balmoral Ward. So this is the entrance to Balmoral Ward and our birth centre. Again, you will have rung ahead, so people will know that you're going to be coming in. If you're coming in for induction, you'll be coming into Balmoral Ward. And before induction, you will have COVID testing. You and your partner will have been COVID tested about 24 hours before you come in. If you're coming in in labour to the birth centre, you'll have your COVID test when you arrive. So this end is Balmoral Ward. We've got some single rooms, we've got a full bedded bay and some more single rooms up this end. And this is where you'll be coming if you're coming in for induction of labour. Go up the other end. Okay, so let's go down and have a look at one of the birth centre rooms. We've got two occupied today. So this is one of our smaller rooms, even though it's a really good size. So we've got a lovely birthing pool, bean bags. This is a pull down bed. So this is really nice. If you have your baby in here, you can stay here until you go home if that's what you want to do. And your partner can stay with you. Um, we've got tea and coffee making facilities here. And we've got a lovely ensuite shower room in here. So we'll head on down now and we'll go down to Robert Watson, which is one of our postnatal wards. So, as I said before, the visiting on the postnatal ward hasn't changed for your birth partner. So that will be two till six um, every day. So here we are at Robert Watson. And when your partner comes to visit, they press the call bell. Somebody will answer and let them in. And again, good old hand sanitizer. So this is Robert Watson. This is one of the reception areas. And this is the ward up here is Robert Watson. And down this way is our transitional care area for our babies that are not quite well enough to go home, but are well enough to still be with mum. Four bedded bays. 
And then we've got some single rooms down here as well. So we've got an assortment of four bedded bays and single rooms. What we do ask, because the space down here is slightly limited, is we do ask that when partners are here visiting, we, we just ask that they stay next to the bed next to you so there isn't too much movement around the ward. Okay, so let's head down to Labour Ward. So here we are again at Labour Ward Sturtridge entrance. Good old hand sanitizer. Again, you will have rung ahead, so people will be expecting you. There's a buzzer on the wall for you to buzz, and you come on in, and you'll be greeted by one of our receptionists, and today this is Dawn. Hello, I've rung ahead and I'm coming in. Lovely, have you got your green I have, there we go. Thank you. Can I just check that you're still at the same address? Yes, I am. And that your doctor's hasn't changed? No. Thank you. So when it's time to come through, one of the midwives will come down or one of the maternity support workers, they'll take you through, you and your partner, and show you into your room. Hi, Paul. Hello. So this is one of our birthing rooms. They're all the same, apart from one at the very end that has got a birth pool in, and that is double the size, so it's slightly bigger but every other room along this corridor is this size with the same equipment in. Once you're in here, the midwife will come. Your COVID test, if you're in established labor, your COVID testing will be done for you and your partner once you're here. Um, those results take, it's, it varies how long it takes. I wouldn't like to say. Sometimes it's two to four hours. It can be up to eight to 12 hours for that result to come back. But obviously you'll be in your room with your birth partner, laboring and having your baby. Um, so once you've had your baby, you're probably in this room, I would say for about two to four hours, and then you will move to Robert Watson, which is the postnatal area. Okay, we're just gonna go down now to area K, which is our outpatient. So a lot of ladies that have got consultant care, who have consultant care, will be seen in area K. And also we do some scanning there as well for um, ladies that are having serial scans. So let's head on down to area K. So this is where you come in. This is the entrance for our antenatal clinic area. You come on in. Again, hand sanitizer. So we're just coming through now to the reception area. So you'd come in here. You'd be greeted by one of our lovely receptionists. Hello, have you got an appointment? I have, yes, yes. Have your green light? There we go. Oh, thank you very much. Let me just check on the system. Yes, that's exactly. Could you come to the window, please, and I'll take your temperature? Yep. Have you been feeling well recently? I have. Have you been sore throat or anything no. like that? Cough? Been in no. touch with anybody that's had the virus at all? No. That's perfect. 36.4, lovely. Help yourself to a urine pot and the toilets are just across the way. And Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Now here in antenatal clinic, there isn't as much space. So partners are asked to wait outside or in the car. And then you'll have a text or a phone call from your partner just to say it's time to come in. Sometimes in this area, because we are tighter for space, it may not always be possible for partners to be with you, but the majority of the time it's okay. So what we ask to do, what we ask you to do is when you've been called through to your, to see your consultant or your midwife or for your scan, we just ask that you wipe your seat down with one of these wipes here. And we also ask for the same in maternity day unit, which was the first area that we went to. So I hope you, hope you found that useful, our whistle-stop tour of our maternity unit here at Northampton. And hopefully for ladies coming in, it just gives a little bit of an insight as what to expect when you come to each area. Just wanted to say again, we really, really do understand what an anxious time it is for anybody having a baby at the moment, and that we are here to support and help you. We're still doing our um, Q&A every two weeks through the Maternity Voices Partnership, and that's every Friday and we are always here to talk to you. You're always going to be able to get hold of one of the matrons 
or myself um, through uh, the number that is on the Maternity Voices Partnership Facebook page and we are always happy to chat to you about any of your worries, anxieties or fears because we really do understand this is a very stressful time.